Looking for a way to get your children more interested in technology, electronics, engineering and programming? A Raspberry Pi is a good option, but it's a bare bones experience. This is where Piper's computer kit comes in. I'm Christian from MakeUseOf.com and in this review I'm going to be showing you the Piper Computer Kit, a Raspberry Pi based project box for kids. At the heart of this kit is a Raspberry Pi 3. This is the 2016 iteration with a quad core 1.2 GHz processor and 1 GB of RAM, as well as built in wireless networking and Bluetooth. Powering this is a rechargeable battery, there is no clear option for powering the kit from a mains adapter, which means that the Piper computer kit can be taken anywhere. To help me gauge its suitability for the targeted 7 to 13 age group, I recruited my 7 year old son Bruce. On unboxing the Piper computer kit, we were surprised to find so much wood. With around 15 wooden components, screws, nuts, hinges and even a catch, it's vital to put the box together and build a housing for the breadboard to get started. After all, this is an experience that includes engineering and what could be better for a child than learning how to use a screwdriver. Fortunately, Bruce has spent a lot of time with Lego and Meccano, so has already developed some insight into how to put things together securely. Once the box is constructed, the included Raspberry Pi 3 is mounted and the 7 inch LCD display and speaker attached and the component storage box filled with switches, wires and LEDs. It's then time to explore the educational material included with the Piper computer kit. Booting up for the first time introduces you to Piperbot, a slightly damaged robot living in a Minecraft based world. The focus of the adventures that follow Piperbot can be initially manipulated via the included mouse, but the focus on STEM, which is science, technology, engineering and math based learning means that some other controller options are introduced. Within the first hour of play, Bruce created his first basic circuit, turned a breadboard into a controller with mounted buttons and built some smaller devices with switches on. Instructions for this were presented within the story mode option of the game where each component's construction is presented as a challenge to be overcome. This is a feature throughout the game, and several days later Bruce is still playing it. He absolutely loves his Piper computer kit, he's been asking for a Raspberry Pi of his own for some time now, and this fulfills the job perfectly. He's enjoyed putting together the switches and controller, and although he's needed encouragement and guidance in places, Bruce has really taken to this kit. Of course, as with any piece of technology, the Piper computer kit isn't without its various niggles. There's the price. With an RRP of $240, you might think that's a bit much. Certainly, you'd expect the majority of the kit to be available for $150. But then, there's the software, the educational experience that comes baked into this product. While the voice acting leaves much to be desired... Years ago. He might not be functional. You have to try. That's humanity's only hope. I'll let them off, as the cutscenes in Piperbot's adventures are clearly voiced by children. There's also a lack of clarity as to what happens next when the Minecraft missions are completed. My main problem with the Piper computer kit, however, is the lack of a mains power supply option. The device basically has to be portable, which isn't ideal in some scenarios. Having said that, the battery pack has a power button for booting and shutting down the Raspberry Pi safely, so it isn't all bad news as this is a particular weakness of the Raspberry Pi in a bare bones state. All in all, the Piper Computer Kit is a fun and engaging introduction to computing and electronics. From wooden components to a portable project box, the Piper is one of the best STEM-focused kits available. <laughs>